Do you often find yourself wondering where all your hard-earned money disappears to by the end of each month? If that sounds like you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the world of personal finance. Specifically, how to manage your paycheck in a way that not only covers your basic needs, but also sets you on the path to financial success and wealth accumulation. Inspired by the wisdom of the Bible verse in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 2, which says, to divide your portion to seven and also to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. We'll be exploring the concept of a payday routine, a systematic way of allocating your income to eight key areas every payday and in the order. Start doing this even when in debt and making very little money. Sticking with it can help you get out of debt. We will show you how to make the most with the money you have right now, regardless of your income level today. So buckle up and get ready to take control of your finances like never before. Let's dive into the first place your money should go every payday. Aside from first taking out the portion for God in the form of tithe and offering, the number one pot your paycheck should go towards is your essential needs. When we talk about needs, we're referring to the basics. Groceries, housing, transportation, bills, minimum debt payments, and utilities. These necessities should not consume more than half of your earnings. If they do, it's time to reevaluate and make some adjustments. You might need to consider downsizing your living space or opting for more economical mode of transportation. You might even take on a flatmate to share your housing expenses. It's about finding that perfect balance. Remember, it's essential to distinguish between needs and wants. A need is something you must have for survival. A want, on the other hand, is something desirable but not essential, nor needed for survival. Don't make spending towards wants, a priority thinking that if there is anything left at the end of the month, you will save it, because there won't be. This is because of something called the Parkinson's law. If you have 2,500 pounds in your bank account, you're gonna think you can spend it all. But if you only have 1,250 pounds in your bank account, that's what you're going to spend. So the trick here is to always half your psychology by putting half of you money in your checking account and spend it towards your needs first then progress to the others, as highlighted in this video. Remember, keeping your needs within budget is essential for financial success. Once your needs are covered, the number two pot to put your paycheck towards is the unpredictables. Put your money into the emergency fund pot. It's your financial safety net designed to cover unexpected expenses like medical emergencies or sudden repair costs. Aim to save anywhere from three to six months worth of living expenses in a high yield savings account. Statistics show that the average monthly cost of living for a family of four in the UK is 2,268 pounds without rent. And the average monthly living expense for a single person or student in UK is 800 pounds without rent. Paying yourself first by channeling funds into this pot ensures you are prepared for financial surprises, providing stability when life throws a curveball. The third pot to put your money towards is credit card debts. This type of debt can quickly spiral out of control due to high interest rates. It's crucial to prioritize clearing these balances to avoid the snowball effect of compounding interest. Consider strategies like the debt avalanche or debt snowball method. 
the avalanche method targets paying off debts with the highest interest rate first, while the snowball method focuses on clearing the smallest debts first. Both strategies offer systematic ways to regain control over your finances, moving you closer to financial freedom. The fourth pot where you must put your money in is retirement accounts. It's never too early to think about your golden years. Making regular contributions to retirement accounts such as 401k plans, equivalent to the UK workplace pension or the SIPP, self-invested personal pension, Roth IRAs, equivalent to the UK stocks and shares individual savings account, ISA, or health savings accounts, allowing you to reap the benefits of compounding interest over time. If you're a UK resident and under 75, the government gives you tax relief when you pay into your SIPP retirement account. Everyone will get tax relief of 20% on what they pay in personally. So if you paid 800 pounds, the government automatically adds 200 pounds, giving you a total of 1,000 pounds in your SIPP retirement account. These accounts offer tax advantages, which can significantly boost your savings. Also due to the power of compounding interest, which is the concept of you making money on your money because your investments grows and then the growth happens on top of that growth, your gains actually end up being exponential, especially towards the end. Start early. If you start by age 18, you will become a millionaire by age 50 by putting 350 to 500 pounds towards this pot on a monthly basis. If your employer offers a matching pension contribution, be sure to take full advantage of this. It's essentially free money. By prioritizing these aspects, you're not only securing your current financial situation, but also setting yourself up for a comfortable future. Remember, financial success isn't about how much you earn, but how well you manage and grow what you have. The number five pot to put your paycheck towards is investing in yourself. Now, let's focus on your growth and future. Investing in yourself is one of the most powerful investments you can make. It's about nurturing your greatest asset, you. By focusing on personal development and professional growth, you can increase your earning potential and open up new opportunities. This might mean advancing your education, acquiring new skills, or even seeking mentorship to broaden your horizons. The key is to allocate part of your income towards this self-investment. The returns can be significant, not only in terms of financial gains, but also in personal satisfaction and career advancement. The number six pot to put your paycheck towards is paying off extra debts, your loan debts. Beyond credit card debt, you may have other obligations such as student loans, car loans, or personal loans. Paying more than the minimum amount towards these debts can save you a substantial amount in interest over time. It also frees up your cash flow, allowing you to direct more of your income towards your financial goals. Make an effort to accelerate your debt repayment. It might feel like a sacrifice now, but the freedom from debt is truly liberating. The number seven pot you should put your money into is your non-retirement financial goals. These are the big ticket items in your life like saving for a house, funding your child's education, or even planning for early retirement. Allocating part of your income towards these goals can make them more achievable. Consider opening tax advantage accounts like 529 plans for education or taxable brokerage accounts for other goals. These accounts can help your money grow more efficiently, bringing you closer to your dreams.
Sometimes in your journey to attaining financial freedom, you might have to skip totally or reduce the amounts put towards pot two, emergency funds, pot four, retirement account, and pot five, investing in yourself to enable you focus on pots number one, your needs, pot number three, your credit card debts, and pot number six, your loan debts. This is just for a while, as immediately you pay off your credit cards and loan debts, you free up the money to put towards the other pots. Lastly, after fulfilling all financial obligations and goals, it's time to treat yourself. The number eight pot you should consider putting money towards is the treating yourself pot. This isn't just about splurging on luxury items or indulging in extravagant experiences. It's about allocating a portion of your paycheck to things that bring you joy, fulfillment, and a sense of well-being. Maybe it's a dinner at your favorite restaurant, a weekend getaway, or even a simple movie night. It's essential to maintain a healthy balance between financial responsibility and enjoyment. Depriving yourself of life's pleasures can lead to burnout and resentment, undermining your financial discipline. So, go ahead, set aside some funds for that hobby you love or that book you've been wanting to read. Remember, it's not just about amassing wealth, but also about enjoying the journey. Following this payday routine ensures that every pound you earn is allocated purposefully towards building a secure financial future. By prioritizing essential needs, emergency savings, debt repayment and investments, you lay the foundation for long-term wealth accumulation and financial freedom. Remember, financial success is a journey, not a destination. Invest in yourself, pursue your financial goals and treat yourself along the way. With discipline and intentionality, you can achieve financial success and thrive in all aspects of life. That's it for our payday routine. We hope you found this video insightful and that it has equipped you with the knowledge to manage your paycheck more effectively. If you enjoyed this video and want more insights into personal finance, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're constantly sharing valuable tips and advice to help you navigate your financial journey. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. If this video has been helpful to you, please take a moment to like it, share it with your friends and family, and leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the payday routine, any personal experiences you've had, or any additional tips you might want to share with our community. Your engagement helps us create content that is most relevant and beneficial to you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, mastering your money starts with you. So keep learning, stay disciplined, and enjoy the journey to financial freedom. Until next time, take care.